As you recall in the previous training video, there are programs that when you start up your computer, also load up and start up with the operating system and run in the background. And if you want to see some of those, then just come down here on the taskbar, that very first status icon there, the little arrow pointing up, go ahead and click on it and it opens up the notification area. The area of the programs that started with your computer that are loaded up and currently running in the background. Now after you come up and you hover over each one of these icons like this one right here, this program is the scan snap manager for my scanner and you decide I never use the scanner, I don't need this running in the background taking up system resources. So you can do one of two things. Well actually you can do three. You can right click on it and exit out of it in which case just for this current session it's not running but then when you restart your computer again because it's a startup program it'll start up with the operating system. So let me go ahead and click off in a blank area. The second thing you can do is uninstall the program from your computer. If I do that, then if I ever need it back again, I'll need the disk or the CD or download the program and reinstall it. Or if I'm not sure I'm going to be using it later on, I can go ahead and disable this program from starting up in the background. And then if I want to go ahead and later on enable it, it's just a simple little checkbox. Once I check it, it'll load back up with the operating system here. So let me go ahead and click off in a blank area. And if you decide to uninstall the program, then you want to come over here, click on the start button come over here click on the control panel in the start menu come up here and click on uninstall a program and then of course find the program let me go ahead and scroll over and there it is go ahead and select it and then come up here and click on the uninstall button on the command bar or of course you can right click and go down to uninstall and I'm not going to do that I'm going to come up here and close out the second option is is just to disable it so it's still on your computer and then later on you can re-enable it so it starts up with the operating system you can do that by coming down here, clicking on the Start button, and typing in these letters, MS Config, for Microsoft Configuration. And if you come up here, you can see it, MS Config. It's the System Configuration Utility. Go ahead and click on it. it. Opens up a window. Come over and click on the Startup tab, and here is a list of not only the programs that you have hiding in the notification area, but you have additional programs as well. If you can't see the name here under the Startup item, and then come up here and hover your mouse in between the two column headers until you get arrows pointing in opposite directions. Then you can go ahead and click and drag and move your mouse to the right to reveal more of the first column. Or you can go ahead and do a double click really fast and it'll do a best fit. It'll take the longest text within the column and fit it to that. So as you're coming down through here and you're looking at things and well there it is, scan snap. And if I uncheck that and click OK, then it'll ask me, do you want to go ahead and restart the computer now for this change to take effect, or do you want to do it later? I recommend that you restart it then, so you don't have any issues. I'm going to go ahead and leave it checked there. And then for these other programs, if you're not sure what they do, for example, I'm looking at this one, I'm like, what the heck is CTXFIHLP? What I do is I look them up on the internet. Come down here, click on Internet Explorer, it opens it up, and then I do a Google search. Go ahead and type it in, CTXFI. HLP and then go ahead and click on Google search. You can see I visited this before but be sure that you trust the web page. When it comes to doing searches if you're not sure you can trust the web page then what I do is I look up the domain name like processlibrary.com I type it up here and after that I type reviews then I do a search. Usually I can get some reviews and people say oh don't visit this website or don't trust these guys. That's one way to help you not land on a page that might be harmful but I've used these guys before and so far they seem pretty good so I'll go ahead and click on them and it says right here the description of this program here is a process installed alongside the creative technology such as a sound card and I do have the creative sound card so it says you shouldn't disable this as a startup program unless you suspect it to be causing problems okay so it gives you a little bit of advice I'm gonna go ahead and come up here and close out and then say well, if I go ahead and uncheck that and I can't hear music through my computer outside of my speakers here because I disabled it, then I want to come back here and check it and so it can start up with my computer so I can listen to my music, okay? In any case, you can find out about all these, whether they're essential or not, to be running in the background of your computer. Some computers that you buy from major computer manufacturers like HP, Dell, or others, sometimes they'll just throw a bunch of more advertisements or start up what I call junk on my computer. It may not be to you. And I come in here and I uncheck them all because I don't want them running in the background taking up system resources. I don't need them. In any case, like I said, when you're done, go ahead and click OK. And then again, if you made any changes, it'll say, do you want to restart the computer now or later? I would suggest that you go ahead and restart it then. 
And then when it restarts, if I, let me come down here, click on the little hidden icon arrow. If I uncheck Scan Snap, when it starts back up my operating system, Windows 7, it shouldn't be there. Let me right click and exit out. It shouldn't be there, okay? Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.